Hey everyone, Shadows here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to port and texture Fortnite models in Blender without having the game installed or without using Umodel. This is for people with Macs and people that have really bad PCs that can't run Fortnite properly. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to the link in the description below where you can join my Discord server. Once you join, scroll down to the PSK downloads chat, scroll right to the top and you'll find the PSKs for the Fortnite character. When you load up this link, it will take you to the Mega Drive folder. This is pretty much the characters folder from Umodel uploaded online. Here you can go into the player folder and this will contain all the PSKs, all the textures you need to port a Fortnite character without having to install the game or you model. The way we're going to find what our skin is called inside of here, you can go to the link in, my descri in the description yet again to my Discord server. You can go to the you model chat and you can use a command to find what your skin's called. So all you have to do is do exclamation mark CID and then type in the name of your skin. For this tutorial we're going to port flap jacket, so I'm just going to type in flap jacket and if you run the command it will pop up this. It will say the name of the body, name of the head, and name of the accessory if there is any. Some skins don't actually have an accessory, it's just a body and a head, but some skins have an accessory like this. This skin, the flapjack, he has the hood. This is the accessory. The head is literally just the head, and the body is the main body. So this is what they're called inside of you model. Uh, Flapjack is called Animal Jacket, your skin will be called something different. We've got to go find this. So the F here stands for female, and the M, M E D stands for medium. If I scroll up a bit, I'll probably be able to find a male skin. M stands for male and F stands for female. The med here is, stands for medium. If there's like an, uh, an LRG there, it will stand for large. But most of the fauna skins are medium skins and you can either choose between F or M. So if your skin's F, all you have to do is go to the Mega Drive, player and female. But if your skin's M, go to the male folder. For us, it's female and medium. If it's large, then it's large, but our skin's medium. And we're going to find the body first. We're going to do bodies, and we're going to find the animal jacket. So just scroll down, it's in alphabetical order. Find your body. We're going to open up this folder. We have the meshes right here. This part, so this is the hood right here, the face accessory. And if we go and close this bodies folder and go to the heads folder, we need to find the Sarah head, ASN Sarah. So we can scroll down here, find the Sarah head. Here it is. And we need to export this as well with the PSK. So all you need to do once you've found the stuff that you need, you can right, uh, you can just select the folder, the big, the big core folder, and click download a zip. And you can do the same for the body as well. So I'm going to do the same for the animal jacket body. Just click download a zip. And now I'll let these download, and I'll be back in a second once they finish. Once you've got your files downloaded, extract them from zip files into folders. Now we need to import these files into Blender. When we go to Blender and click File import there's no .psk option which are what these files is we need to install a plugin that helps us do this there'll be a link in the description below to this plugin right here the import psk psa plugin here when we load up the link change the branch to latest click clone or download and click download zip this will download a file similar to this blender 3d import PS psk psa latest just right click and extract here or open up the file and drag out this folder like so once you go inside this folder you're going to need to go to the add-ons folder and there will be a top, uh, two, 270 option and a 280 option. If you're using Blender 2.70 or above up to 2.80, use the first link, but most people will be using the latest version of Blender, which is 2.82 as of this recording. So just use this 280 link right here. Drag out this .py file. You can now delete this folder and this zip file, and we've got this just .py file. We're gonna go over to Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, and go down to Add-ons. Click Install up here. Go to the desktop or wherever you have this .py file and double click on it to install it. Here this little box, make sure it's ticked and now we can import PSKs. Now first we're going to delete everything inside this project file because it's not needed. And now we need to start importing the PSKs. So we're going to start off with the body, we're going to go file, import, PSK and now go find your body. So I saved my files on the desktop, we're going to go inside the animal jacket or whatever your name is folder. Then go to meshes and then just import this mesh right here, this .psk file. And here we have the body of Flapjacky. It's very blocky and it has no textures on, but we'll fix this in a minute. Next, we're going to go to file, import, PSK yet again, go to the desktop, and we're going to import our head. So my head is the Sarah head, we're just going to double click on this, go to the meshes folder, and import just the empty plain head, like so, with nothing at the end, like Zom or No Face. Just import the normal PSK, and the head will pop up right here. With this skin, this skin does not include the uh, hair of this uh, skin. It pokes through the hat if the hair is here. So if your skin doesn't need hair, like sometimes the face accessory has hair, or sometimes it's just a bald head, you need to go select the head mesh, click tab to go into edit mode, and now we're just going to select the hair and delete it. So hover over the hair, click L, 
do the same with uh, any other bits of hair like I've got a fringe right here so you can click L, 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 click X and then delete vertices. Now our character is bald, sometimes the skin keeps its hair but in this case it pokes through the hat so it's not needed. Now we need to import the actual hat, the face accessory we're going to go file, import, PSK, straight to the desktop yet again and go to the animal jackets folder whatever your main folder is and then go to the meshes and go to the parts folder and now we're just going to import the face accessory. Now the skin's looking a bit more, if we turn off the bones by pressing this button, the skin's looking a bit more flapjacky-ish, but it's still untextured and very blocky, which you've got to smooth out in a second. Now we've got to start merging these armatures, because if we go and go to pose mode, it only moves, each each bone only moves part of the body, like if we go to the spine bones right here, only moves the body, it doesn't move the head or the face accessory. We're going to merge our armatures by going up to the top right here, First, we're going to select the face accessory, if there is a face accessory, if there isn't, just skip this step. So, face accessory first, then shift click on the head, and then shift click on the body, and then hover over your, your body and your mesh is over here in the 3D viewport, and then click Ctrl J. This will get rid of the dark orange, and it will all be the same shade of orange, which means they're all just one. Now, if we move this, it's just one big armature up here. There's still three meshes, so we can still select these separately but there's one big armature controlling them all. Now we've got to merge our meshes, so we're going to first do it in the exact same order that we did before. First select the hat, if there is a hat, if there isn't then just don't do this bit. Then select the head by shift clicking on the head, and then select the body by shift clicking on the body, and then hover over your character over here, make sure it's over, hovering over your character, and then click Ctrl J. Now we've merged these, as you can see there's an orange outline around the whole skin instead of around separate bits. We can move this like so, but don't ever do that, always use the bones when you're moving. And you can also move them by using those bones. If we go to pose mode, it's still a little bit broken, like when we go and move the spine, the, the head's a bit broken, and sometimes there's bones left behind, which I'll show you how to fix in a minute if there's a bit of hair that's left behind or anything. But first, we're going to clean up these bones a little bit, because there's so many little, like, there's red bones and white bones, and there's a lot of bones, and it's very confusing. So, what you need to do is just go and select this armature up here, select this, uh, make sure the bones are highlighted in orange, click tab to go into edit mode, and go up to the neck around here, double click on one of these bones, any of these neck bones are fine, double click on them, for me it pops up neck underscore 01 and then it's got to have a dot 001 or a dot 002 at the end, just make sure that's like that and then you can click shift G and then click suffix and that will select all the bones with dot 001 at the end and you can click X and delete bones. This has cleaned up the bones a little bit and we're going to do the same again. If you've only merged two things at the start, if it's only a head and a body you only have to do this once, but if you merge a face accessory, a head and a body, you need to do this two times. So we've merged three things, so we're going to do this again. We click tab to go into edit mode, double click on another neck bone until dot zero zero two comes up, shift G and then click suffix and then X to delete bones. Now the bones are a lot cleaner, now we've not got separate sets of bones that aren't moving properly. we just got one set of bones, the face is still broken which we'll fix now. So yet again we're going to go and click on the armature so all the bones are selected, click tab to go into edit mode and we're going to go right up to the head up here. There should be three bones about the middle of the back of the head, there should be a face attached bone, a jaw bone and a head bone. All you need to do is select the bottom one, which will be the face attached bone, shift click on the top one, which will be the head bone, make sure you have them selected in this order, and click Ctrl P, and then click or Ctrl P, and then keep offset. Now if we go back into pose mode, now we can move the, the spine, and everything moves perfectly fine. The head doesn't glitch, there's no eyes left behind or mouth. But if there was something left behind, like for some, uh, for an example, some, some skins have some hair left behind that doesn't move properly, you can just go up to one of these bones, so as you can see we move this, these bones up here are the old bones of so the hair which is deleted. But if there was still hair, we'd go up to these bones, yet again select uh, in object mode, just select the armature, click tab to go into edit mode, select one of these bones, we're just going to select a random one that doesn't move properly with the head and then down here there's a little uh, bone bone tab we're going to go and click this then click relations and the parent will either be some random bone or it will be nothing if it has a, ba a bone in it just click x but if it's uh, an empty just click on it and we're going to type in head like so so now if we click head and just select now if we go back into pose mode and we move it this bone up here that we just parented will move as well with the head this bone right up here that we just parented so if anything's left behind you can do that now we're going to smooth out the body so we're just going to select the mesh of the body right click and shade smooth and now everything's looking a bit more smoother and crisp 
but I'm just going to fix one thing quickly if we go to pose mode and we try to move the eyeball this will happen the eyelids will move the eyeball as well this is just a bit of an annoying thing when porting if you want to fix this all you have to do is just select the armature again go to edit mode and click on the select all four of the eye, eye eyelids or whatever they're called you can't select them all at once and do it you have to select them individually so just select the one eyelid then go to the bone tab yet again parent delete click the x to get rid of the eye and type in head now do this for each of the eyelids and this will fix your issue with moving the eyes so you just type head and do the same with this one and the final eyelid just do the same and now when we try to move our eyeballs they'll move without moving the eyelids as well we can still move these eyelids and close our eyes or whatever so this just fixes that issue and now we've got a perfectly parented and collect like a parented and merged body now we just need to work on texturing so for texturing we're using the fn standard shader by fry's effects go check him out in the description below there'll be a link to his twitter we need to import this into blender so make sure to download the blend file in the description below it'll be fn underscore standard underscore shader underscore 1.5 once you download this blend file you need to go into your blender uh, project right here click file and then click append and now go find this blend file so here it is right here fn underscore standard underscore shader that blend file we just downloaded double click on it and sometimes you'll need to uh, tick this filter blender ids at the bottom sometimes everything will pop up but if it doesn't just click on this button right here and we need to go to node tree and then we just need to import everything in here so we're just going to select everything and then click append and now the shader is inside of our blend file we can get into the texturing so if we would add to add textures right now to this skin nothing would happen because we're in solid mode we need to change the viewport shading mode so if we click this the skin will turn a bit whiter instead of being gray and now we can add textures and they'll fully add so to do the texturing we're going to go over to the shading tab and now we're just going to select the body like so the body mesh not the bones the body mesh and we're going to tick use nodes this will bring up a principled bsdf we can just delete this we don't need it for the texturing and whatever it deletes so for instance my body just turned black this means that we're texturing the body another way to do this is just go up to the slots and you'll see animal jackets which is the body the head and the hat so we're texturing the body uh, for now we're going to go to add and we're going to search and we're going to search the fn shader we're going to add 1.5 which is the newest version there might be 1.6 out by now but just choose the latest version add it in right here and connect bsdf to surface now the skin's turned a bit grey white, we're going to need to start adding the textures in. So we're going to add an add, search and add an image texture. We're going to add it right here and we're going to connect colour to diffuse. Now we're going to open and we're going to find our diffuse texture, which is the underscore D texture. So on the desktop you can just go to the, the folder with your body in. And instead of going to meshes this time, go to textures. And here is just the animal jackets textures. So this is the hat textures, the D, M, N and S. But here is the normal animal jackets empty plane body texture so we're going to open up the underscore d of just the body we're going to open it up and now as you can see the textures are applied now this looks a bit a bit wrong uh, it looks very plain and co uh, colorless and that's because we haven't added the other textures which add a bit more detail we're going to do this now so we're going to we're going to add and we're going to add another image texture i'm going to connect it here and we're going to connect color to the, the underscore m texture which we're going to add in next so we're going to click open here and then we're going to go back to the textures in recent you can go back to your textures instead of having to find them all again and we're going to open up the underscore m texture and now this has added a tiny bit more detail we're going to do the same with the underscore s and the underscore n so let's just add another image texture like so connect it to the specular underscore s and now we're going to find our underscore s texture go to the textures and then go to the animal jackets or whatever your name is underscore s now with the underscore s texture and the underscore n texture right now the skin looks very very glossy and that's because we haven't uh, changed the color space of this texture with the underscore s and the underscore n texture you need to change the color space to linear so just do this and now the skin will look a bit better now we're going to add one more final image texture and we're going to open and we're going to find our underscore n texture this is right here we can just double click this change the color space to linear because it's the underscore n texture and connect it to the normal right here now we've got our fully textured body our body is perfectly fine and fully textured we can do the same with the head and the hat and i'll be back in a second now i'm back and i've just finished texturing and now the skin is fully textured every single part is textured the way to switch between texturing parts is go to these slots right here and you can swap between the textures so these are the animal jackets the body textures if we unplug this it will change the body and then we can change to the head unplug this and it'll change the 
head and then we can also do the same with the hat and unplug this and we mess with the hat now we've got a fully textured fully ported fortnite model without even having to have the game installed or using a new model we can move the bones around make our thumbnails whatever we want to do we can do it anyway thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new for not very daily or regular but some tutorials when they're needed anyway Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys soon.